All right, so got lots of tomatoes in here. Um, gonna be eating tomato, um, making pasta sauce. It's gonna be delicious. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, as I walk through the garden, I'm just kind of like making, taking note of these plants and they are at the last tail end of the season. So some of them have just been around for a while. This was um, massacred by the goat and I really didn't get much fruit off of it. A lot of these tomatoes were just, just the goat would just come and just eat off of it, just bite the heads off and everything. Um, a lot of tomatoes I just got away from me. I never did get a chance to come up here and properly stake them. This is not how you take care of your tomato plants. Um, it just, the season just got away from me between travels and just different obligations, parenting, you know, different commitments. I, there's just not a whole lot of attention I could have given to the garden. So, but even the most neglected garden, I always stay still bears much fruit. And so there are still tomatoes left on the vine. Many of them are experiencing blight, diseased. Um, just, I mean, again, they've been around for a while. This is the last tail end of the season. So I'm going to enjoy what's left of them. There's nothing but tomatoes out here. I'm thinking of turning things around into making a fall garden. The issue I'm having is nothing is protected. And so anything can, whatever I plant, I'm just, I'm afraid that something will just get in here and, you know, tear it up. So I, but I am going to plant regardless. Um, more garlic. I will definitely get garlic in the ground in November. I will probably, I'm thinking about doing a couple of squash plants in here. Um, but yes, I am looking forward to turning, you know, the garden over into a far, fall garden. Meanwhile, I still got tomatoes, so I will enjoy them while I can.